Mic check, mic check. All right, in the number 10 spot, we got Capable of Love by Pink Panthers off her 2023 record. And in the number nine spot, we got Xena by Skrillex off his 2023 record, Quest for Fire. Two very great songs that I had the pleasure of listening to this year. And, um, you know, 2023 was a pretty great year for music. Um, very, um, you know, a bunch of new stuff came out. We had new uh, Skrillex, uh, new MGMT, uh, new Maddion, new George Clanton, uh, somehow even new Daft Punk, even though they broke up two years ago. Um, I discovered new things from uh, Parano, a Korean in, uh, indie rock band. Uh, Carly Rae Jepsen came into my display, um, and I even found some old songs from a uh, you know older time from like the '90s. I've been getting into a little rock phase recently. Um, but yeah, 2023 was a jam-packed year of music, and 2024 is going to be even bigger. We got Justice coming on with a new record. Um, they're actually dropping their new song with Tame Impala this Wednesday called One Night All Night. So I'm very excited for that. And a collaboration between Wave Dash, Madion, and Toro Imoy dropping February 1st. Um, it's called All Your Love. That song is for sure to be... Um, sound of the summer this year very great uh, very great year to come for music um but yeah good afternoon everyone i'm your host euphoric and you're listening to euphoric's paradise on the valley student station only on vaquero radio it is good to be back doing this show um we have a new time now it is no longer thursdays at uh, 1 p.m we're now doing it mondays at 2 p.m you know my schedule is different now um but you know what? regardless of that i really hope you guys will be able to tune in at those times and you know we can you know share some new music with each other and have fun doing it um, and, you know, Happy New Year as well. Also, Merry Christmas along with that. Um, been a very, how would I do, a very um, eventful past couple of weeks. You know, like I said, New Year rang in. Um, I made some new goals, you know, go to the gym more. Um, I, you know, we got a... <laughs> We got a new semester here. We got a new spring semester. Honestly, a semester that I'm very excited for. Um, I'm taking new classes from uh, costume design. Um, I'm really excited to take that class because I, you know, I want to be able to get into fabrics and stuff like that. And although like fashion design and costume design are very different, I've always had a, like an, uh, an interest in that sort of aspect of things. Um, and I'm also taking an acting class. Um, I believe I mentioned it before. I mean, I'm pro- I've more than likely mentioned it before. Um, but I am a theater major. I don't go for acting. I do go for design. But I am very excited to like you know put my quote unquote acting skills to the test just to see how, like how well I'm doing all that stuff and maybe do a little thing here and there. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for the semester. Um, I'm also excited for new challenges and uh, you know new goals that I have like this upcoming year. Um, and I'm very uh, grateful to be able to have like you know this show throughout running through this uh, spring semester, so I could be able to talk to you guys about it and all that stuff. So, you know, I'm very excited for uh, what's to come. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, happy new year, guys. Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys' this year is going off well, going off strong. And I hope you guys are able to accomplish what you guys want to do this year. Um, I know I I know I'm already starting out pretty great. Um, I just I I personally just feel like I got a a good year ahead of us and a good year for me in the mix all right so let's do less yapping you know let's just listen to some more new music um in the number nine spot we got lethal by frost children off their most recent 2023 record hearth room they actually dropped two albums this year um but this one in particular is from the record hearth room which came out back in november i believe of last year it is a very great indie rock pop song and it is just gorgeous to listen to um probably one of my favorite songs of the year I, it was on my it was on constant replay last year um i love this song to death and then after that we're going to be switching it over to a very different song stylistically we're going to be listening to fred again skrillex and fortet for their song baby again a very trippy house rave style song very great uh two songs that i constantly played last year um these two songs could go intertwine baby again can be number set uh, be number eight frost children you know at the end of the day music is subjective i know this is just my personal ranking i really couldn't even rank these songs in general i'm just you know these these, these are just my top 10 all right this is what i heard throughout last year um but yeah let's get started let's first play lethal by frost children and we're gonna be going into baby again by fred again let's do this all right well i don't have much time to talk in the next uh you know talking segment so i'll just switch it up on to the next couple of songs uh at number six i believe yeah at number six we're gonna be playing polaris um by parano off their 2023 record uh, after the magic a very great indie rock uh korean track um and then after that we're gonna be switching it into the new uh, mgmt 
Bubblegum Dog, um, one of my favorite songs from last year as well that I also got a lot of plays in the short time it came out back in November. All right, let's do this. Uh, first, we're going to be playing Polaris, and then we're going to be going to Bubblegum Dog, and we're going to be going into commercial break after that. So, And then we'll be right back for the next show segment and into the next songs. All right? Perfect. That's a sick commercial. I, ain't, I haven't heard that one yet. All right, nice to know that we got a Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse type show now. All right, that's very great. Awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, we're back. Um, that was uh, Bubblegum Dog and Polaris. Um, very two great songs. Uh, Polaris specifically, um, one of the most euphoric, most engaging songs I've ever had the pleasure of listening to. Just those guitars and just that wall of sound that comes in on the second half of the song is probably one of the most like amazing feelings I had last year when I was first listening to the record because it's it's the intro of their album and when I listened to it like I don't know I was just like dude I have to finish this album immediately and it turned out to be one of my favorite records of last year um so yeah really amazing track right there and then uh, Bubblegum Dog is up for MGM Team's upcoming record um Lost of Life which is also something I'm very excited for this year um Actually, I did want to talk about some new music that's coming in. Um, so I mentioned it before, but Justice, um, we all know, uh, hopefully we all know who Justice are, the two French producers, um, very iconic duo, um, kind of in the same realm of Daft Punk and Maddion and Jeff Osteen, you know. Um, I'm very excited as they have just returned um, to the music world. They haven't dropped a full-length uh, like album since, I believe, 2017, which is around like seven years ago at this point. Um, so I'm very excited for that. They got their new song with Tame Impala come one night, all night, to coming this Wednesday. Um, so I'm extremely excited for that. The teasers for that song have sounded amazing, so I'm very excited to hear what it has to sound like. Um, in terms of also new music, we're getting that new Maddie on track with uh, Wave Dash and Tori Moy called All Your Love. Um, Maddie on premiered that at a show in Austin on New Year's, which I wish I went to, but sadly I wasn't able to go. Um, but the teaser for that song also sounded really great, very poppy, very summery. So I'm also excited to hear that. It comes out February 1st. Um, and I believe this MGMT record Coso comes out February 1st. I think, I don't know when the date is, but it's somewhere around the month of February. Um, and then um, after you know MGMT, I also have a lot of more things to look forward to. Hopefully, Frank Ocean drops a new record. Um, Kali Uchis just dropped a new record. Um, it's actually very sound. It sounded very great, especially that song with Peso Pluma. I enjoyed it very much. Um, Igual que will not. I think that's the title. I, sorry, if my Spanish sounds broken. Leave me alone. Um, and then um, you know we just got a ton of new songs coming up. All right, so let's go into nearly the final half of this list. Um, we got a, at number four, we got Psychedelic Switch by Carly Rae Jepsen. One of the funnest songs of last year, man. Oh my God. When I first heard this, I was like, dude, immensely Carly Rae Jepsen is like one of my favorite artists now. Like, I, and, and like anything, like whenever like a certain artist just experiments with like dance music and house and all that stuff, immediately that song is going to just like put them at such a high pedestal especially with like ariana grande's recent song yes and although i'm not the biggest fan of her vocals on that song i do love ariana grande a little bit um this that disco production just sets that song at such a high standard for me i i love anything disco related um so yeah we're gonna be playing psychedelic switch one of the funnest disco, uh, disco tracks i heard in a while and then we're gonna transition into the third spot which is infinity repeating by daft punk featuring julian casablancas all right let's do this all right that was psychedelic switch by carly ray jepson and infinity repeating 2013 demo by daft punk featuring julian casablancas and the voids um two songs that i played like a lot last year as well um i um yeah yeah that's that's i i could go on a lot about these songs um but actually i did want to mention something just real quick i am turning 21 next month and i couldn't be more excited um actually next month is probably gonna be one of the a really hectic month of my anniversary when my girlfriend is coming up so i'm very excited for that um valentine's is also coming up which my birthday is on too so um you know, I'm very excited for what's to come in those couple of days. Um, it's very hectic in that regard. Um, but I already got her her gifts. Um, she's listening to the show right now, so I can't really say what I got her. But you know, I hope she likes whatever she's getting. I love you. Um, but yeah, um, speaking of gifts, on Christmas, um, I, um, she got me a, a record player, which is the nicest gift anyone's ever given to me. Um, I've always wanted one for a while, so the fact that I have a record player now, I'm able to play all of 
probably some of my favorite music that I have is just one of the best gifts I could have gotten. But she also got me a cameo from George Clanton, an artist I got to see last year. He's been one of my favorites for a while now. And speaking of George Clanton, at the number two spot, we're playing I Been Young by George Clanton off his new record, Ooh Rap Aya, that came out back in July. Man, what a song. I can't stress this enough, but that song is without a doubt, like, amazing. Very euphoric, very nostalgic, very sleepy vocals that are just mixed in so beautifully around this beautiful instrumental it is just one of the most 90s feeling songs in a while and although i'm not from the 90s era i get an immense like wave of nostalgia just listening to this because it really does replicate that sound extremely well um yeah that's so at number two we have i've been young but there is one song that does have it beat and i know my girlfriend's also gonna get sick of me playing this song next it is gonna be good by maddie on specifically the live edit I recently made I every year I do these videos on my YouTube channel um, where I just um, make a collage style video of my year like whatever videos and photos I take I simply uh, put into uh, like a whole video and I put like songs used spe uh, specifically like I played a lot in that uh, you know year and that song was this year's video and i put a lot of thought into it i made a lot of like a beautiful vi visualizer out of this song for my year recap and i was very very proud of it this song is just so amazing to listen to it gives me like instant chills it's like a magnum opus in that regards and i'm very you know I, anytime i just hear it I, ju I just feel like instantly joyous you know just these two songs really put me in a good mood whenever i get to hear it so yeah ending the show off um, we're going to be playing number two spot from 2023 top 10 songs. We're going to be playing George Clanton, I've Been Young. And then we're going to finish it off at number one with Maddie on Gonna Be Good. Live at it. Let's do this. All right. That was the end of the first episode of the spring semester Forex Paradise radio show. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, especially my ranking of the top 10 songs. I know yeah, our differences are or our styles and song, or song choices are going to be different compared to your top 10, maybe. Um, but, you know, it was a very great year for music. I could, I had to do it the best I can. Um, but, yeah, see you guys next Monday. Remember, Monday's at 1 p.m. now. No longer Thursday's at 2 uh, at what, what, what time was it? At 1, 1 p.m. Uh, every Monday's at 2 p.m. There you go. All right. See you guys next time.